Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't gotten to talk about Monster High news since, um, well, it was pretty recent. But today, a commercial was posted onto the official Monster High YouTube channel, where we got to see peaks of the new animated show. This show is set to air on October 21st, and we don't know how many clips from the commercial will be in the first episode. I doubt it's going to be all of them. But, um, yeah, with that, let us begin talking about some of the screenshots from it. So unsurprisingly, the first character that they showed us in the commercial was Draculaura. And just based on this shot, I think the animation looks really good. It's very, like, quality. I feel like I can see the material of her shirt, which, you know, I think that means it's pretty detailed. Here she is hugging a spell book, probably, and I'm still so sad that this hat was cut from her doll. Hopefully we'll get it with another release, so we'll still get the hat, or maybe they'll make it a fashion pack, because let's face it, her whole outfit here is extremely different from what actually got released. So I feel like they could get away with releasing it as a whole separate doll. I don't know. Or like a fashion pack or something, I have no idea. By the way, I'm not going to play the full commercial for hop cro Bleh. copyright reasons. <laughs> so we're just looking at the screenshots. And here she kind of looked at her hand, so I'm assuming maybe she did some magic or something. I don't know, but Dracula's model is honestly really cute. I think that they did a really good job with the animation. So uh, props to the animation team. If any of you guys know uh, somebody who's on the animation team by any chance, give them a hug. Tell them they're doing great, because this honestly looks really good. So, I don't know. I like the atmosphere of this show a lot. Like, the backgrounds are pretty dark. It still reminds me of Monster... It still reminds me of Monster High. I was worried that the school was going to be, like, super bright-looking and not monstery enough, but they definitely captured the atmosphere pretty well. But, you know, this is just a couple of the screenshots. We should go on to the next character, shouldn't we? The next character that they showed was Cleo, who seems to be sitting in class with Torelai, my favorite character in the world in the background. This was all we got. Cleo didn't get two scenes the way Draculaura did, but um, it's still pretty cool to see Cleo's model in action. I really like this outfit. Once again, I would really like if they would release it as a fashion pack or on a separate doll, because this is the same outfit that she was wearing in her box art, and we didn't get it for some reason. Uh, that aside, though, there is a human heart in front of her. Cool. I feel like the joke is that she's going to be saying that it's hers because mummies always get their organs removed before they get wrapped up, so... Cleo has no internal organs, just nothing. There's nothing in there. So um, maybe that's the joke. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm also looking at Torlai in the background, and God, I love her so much. But uh, yeah, Cleo. I think she looks pretty good in animation. The next character we got to see was Frankie, and they still have the side shave as well as the clips being stuck into that side of their hair. I don't know why I commented on that. But they also seem to have some kind of robotic limb. So I'm guessing Frankie is more of a cyborg in this world because they do have the prosthetic legs still, but also they can do this with their arm. So I guess their arm's like a grappling hook. It's probably their hand or something. I, I don't know. I just... They're a, they're a cyborg, I guess. And honestly, their model looks really cute. Claudine still looks kind of uncanny to me. I, I don't know, it just I can't see her as Claudine. But Frankie really works for me. I like the look of their model. And based on the music video that we got for Frankie recently, I like the voice actor's performance a lot. If the music videos are using their actual voice actors. I hope they are. Because Frankie's voice sounded pretty good there. I liked it. So, yeah, that's Frankie. The next character we saw was Claudine, and yeah, I'm still not the biggest fan of her 3D model. It's just the fur texture all over her looks weird to me. Her eyebrows look weird. Does anyone else have eyebrows like that? No, everybody else's eyebrows are just on their face. Hers, like, are three-dimensional. <laughs> Why do her eyebrows look like that? That's so weird. Um... Something about her hair looks weird to me, too. I, I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm a Claudine fan, but G3 Claudine is still... I'm still on the fence, you know? I like the doll. I like G3 Claudine's doll a lot, but I just don't like the look of the 3D model in the show, you know? 
<laughs> this is a funny face. Look at the funny face. Look at the funny face. And then there's there's this one. So, yeah, that's fun. And look at that. They're showing us that you can just stick her glasses kind of into her hair. And it'll hold them on. Because, you know, molding those little tufts of fur next to her face. we <laughs> He didn't need those. <laughs> he didn't need those. I'm sorry. I'm still going on about that. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not feeling too strongly about this one. After Claudine, we got to watch Laguna die because she's a fish and Frankie just electrocuted her. So, uh, yeah. Overall, I like Laguna's 3D model a lot, although I do wish some aspects of it had transferred over to the doll, such as the earrings, because Laguna has a star earring here, and on the doll it's just a fish bone in a circle. She also had fish nets here, and she had sharp teeth. She had little fangs that stuck out when her mouth was closed. And, like, they didn't transfer that into the animation. It's just for the box art. But that's one instance where I wish the box art had been accurate. Because Laguna having a bunch of little fangs like Venus did. That would have been so cute. I also do like the multicolored sweater more than the plain pink one. So, Yeah. But overall, you can probably see what I mean about Frankie's model, right? They look so cute. I love it. And um, we get our first look at a backgrounder. He only has one eyebrow. It's for the best. So uh, yeah, Laguna. She is dead now. After this, they hyped up Deuce, Gulia, and Torali, But we only got Deuce eating a sock and Torali being very pretty. We didn't get any pictures, any bits of Gulia's animation. So... Either Gulia's animation isn't finalized enough for her to appear in the commercial, or she did appear in the background somewhere and I missed it, even though I screenshotted every animated portion that I could. So, you know, I just don't think she showed up. So yeah, Deuce looks pretty cool. I'm interested in seeing how the guy who plays Flash in the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies does as his voice actor. That's such an interesting casting choice to me. <laughs> um, I'm interested in seeing what the issue with his snakes are because in the I made a video a few months ago where I read the descriptions for each character provided by Nickelodeon and apparently Deuce's snakes are like evil and they're like trying to influence him to do evil evil you know like mermaid man from from Spongebob yeah but um yeah interested in seeing that and then there's Torali and uh, do you see what's different here from her doll her hair is short, and it looks really good. She also has three-dimensional eyebrows like um, Claudine, but I kind of like it more here. I don't know. Uh, look, I'm a Torali defender, and I love her hair here, <laughs> and I wish the doll had looked more like this. After that, we got some miscellaneous shots. We got the main three characters hugging. We got Dracula's dad hugging her. We got Dracula, that's who he is. And we got Frankie and Claudine being surprised. What surprised them? Watch the show to find out on October 21st on Nickelodeon. I'm not being paid. I don't get paid for this. But, um, yeah. Overall, I think the animation looks pretty cool, and Claudine looks a little better in these two shots. I feel like they might have picked the worst shots of her to advertise her doll, but these two here look pretty good. I still really like Draculaura's 3D model. I like the look of her. And Frankie is probably one of my favorites. Like, again, I think Frankie and Laguna probably have two of my favorite models from the show, but my all-time favorite... <laughs> you already know. I love Torlai. I love her so much. Uh, Deuce looked pretty cool, too. Frankie, once again, looks awesome. Cleo looks really good as well. I would really like to see this outfit get a release, because, you know, the appeal of the original Monster High was that the dolls were always show-accurate, there were very few details that would be missing upon release from a Monster High doll, but here they seem to be leaning into something weird where they like gave the show different designs from how the dolls look. Like Frankie has a side shave here, which isn't on their doll. They're also wearing a lot more green than they got on the final doll. Uh, Cleo is wearing a completely different outfit. Torlai has short hair, which she absolutely deserved. I would love to see a future release of Torlai get her short hair back. Uh, Deuce looks pretty the same as his doll, I would say. Uh, Laguna, we already know what's different about her. There's a lot of things. And yeah, uh, that's about it. Overall, the show looks good, and I'm excited to watch it. 
will it look weird for somebody my age, an adult collector, to be tuning into a children's TV show? No, because cringe culture is dead. I watch The Owl House. And yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna stop rambling now. Do people still want to fuck Dracula? I saw a lot of people calling him a dolph and it disturbed me. So yeah, that's the animation leaks that we got today. Overall, I'm really excited for the TV show. Uh, the only thing I'm hoping doesn't carry over from the movie, because they used a lot of scenes from the movie and from the animated music videos in the commercial to advertise the dolls. So the one thing I'm hoping doesn't carry over from the movie is the Claudine and Deuce plot line of them being a couple. Well, they didn't actually get together in the movie, but you know, we would all prefer Cleo and Deuce be together. So yeah, that's the only thing I don't want to carry over. I want to keep Cleo and Deuce together. So uh, that's about it. I have to go work on some other videos now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.